Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're in the best of health. I hope you're drinking water and minding your business. If you're new to this channel, my name is Ellie Paul and it's so very nice to meet you. I make content on student advice, medicine, lifestyle and natural hair. In today's video, we're going to be talking about funding for your medical electives program. And guys, you already know that money, <laughs> money, I mean, it is money we're talking about here. Like, it is money. So if this is something that you like to know, something you like to learn, something that will help your planning, guys, you definitely want to stay tuned, okay? The first question that I'm going to be answering, and this is from Prisca, shout out to you. I mean, she reached out to me via Snapchat, and she asked if you can get paid on your medical elective program. In the past, while I did my research, I did find some programs that will offer you stipends, but in recent times, while I've been checking, I haven't found any ones. So, no boo, you won't get paid in money all right you won't get paid in money you only get paid in experience in exposure and in connections okay and while i think that these things you don't necessarily see the importance of them right now you will at a later time or as you progress on your medical journey you definitely will see the usefulness of all the things that you've garnered all the things that you've learned as you went along your elective program okay so we're going to be doing a budget breakdown now and i hope that this helps your planning for the first thing on the list the first thing on the list will definitely be all the stuff that you have to do here okay all the stuff you have to do here so first off it's going to be your vaccinations and to get those done you have to go to the um, hospitals here i have shared a lot of this in my vaccination video you want to check that out or you want to check out the playlist in the description box it will help you okay so the first thing that you want to do is get your vaccinations out of the way i did share the price in detail on that video but here i'm just going to say it costs you about say three hundred dollars i'm not very sure about this price anymore but okay it should cost you about 300 or less or far less depending on how many shots you have to take which shots you have to take and how far along you have already gone like how many shots you've already had so if you've not had any shots any <laughs> you've not had any injections guys you're gonna pay you're gonna pay good money okay but yeah, 300 is quite pricey. Let's see. Maybe 200? So, first off, I mean, that's that vaccinations. The next thing that you have to think about is paperwork, getting all your things together, so applying for your visa and whatnot. Not. And this will vary, so I can't put a price on this. Depending on what type of visa that you choose to apply for, or your eligibility status, if you're already a citizen. If, if you're a citizen, you don't need visa. What did I just say? <laughs> well, depending on your status in the sense that are you applying for a six month visa, are you applying for a three month visa, a one month visa, what type of visa are you applying for? While I was applying for my medical electives in London, I applied for a tourist visa and I was just fine. Like, I was able to do that, to do my program with the tourist visa. So if you're applying for something, different than that wherever you're going maybe student visa or something guys you most likely you most likely might be spending more okay so yeah the next thing that you're going to be paying for is your flight tickets flight tickets okay and usually people would usually people will buy like a round trip ticket because i mean it is actually cheaper to buy a round trip than to buy a one way a round trip will vary depending on where you're having your medical electives which country which state what not not but i had mine i will always keep referring to this so i'm sorry guys i had mine in north middlesex university hospital and i have spoken about this so many times it is in the there's going to be a card up somewhere here okay so if you're inquisitive and you want to check it out you want to know what it looks like and what not not you most likely can go there after this video okay so um for my round trip i ended up spending about 200 dollars 
as well so guys please at this point my math is whack please <laughs> just do the math okay thanks okay so the next thing on the list is your tuition fee or your school fees so to speak and for your school fees guys <laughs> guys guys for your school fees it also depends on the school so in my case i was paying 200 pounds as tuition for my medical lecture program but in recent times the price has skyrocketed so guys you most likely might be paying somewhere between 400 pounds or um 500 pounds and depending on the country as well because i saw a country where they're like okay first of all you pay an administrative fee of 300 and then after you pay the administrative fee then you pay every single week and the charge every single week is 75 dollars so depending on how much that you end up spending how many weeks that you end up spending in total you most likely will multiply all that money and that will be a lot of money a lot of money anyways guys i'm just being dramatic i'm sorry about that but yeah you kind of get what i'm trying to say okay okay so the next thing on the list will be the things that you do when you actually arrive at your medical elective um, posting okay and this will be your accommodation and for your accommodation for me a safe spot was between 500 to 700 500 to 700 pounds so yeah you might want to put that in plan put that in your budget as well the last thing that we're going to be planning on is going to be your food and groceries and transport so guys all of these things that i'm saying will be anywhere from 400 to 500 pounds as well to to budget so guys please factor in your location okay so this will only apply if maybe you're doing an elective program also in the school that i did mine or in the school within that same vicinity or somewhere in the united united kingdom as well though a lot of places will be cheaper than the prices that i'm actually telling you right now this will kind of give you an idea on what to expect what to plan for what to put in your budget or what to work towards okay yeah <sighs> all right uh in all of your planning please add your miscellaneous i hope i pronounced that correctly but you need to add a miscellaneous fee okay you need to add a miscellaneous fee you need a fee for times when things don't go how you want them to go i hope i said that right i hope that was a com correct phrase Oof. guys you need a i don't know the word <laughs> you need money okay you need money to save your ass or cover your ass from the times when things don't go how you wanted them to go or something else comes up for a very good example was when i went for my posting and then i had to do like a tb screening a blood tb screening because they couldn't find my scar and my um vaccination reports card from when i was a baby wasn't coming out as early as they would have wanted it to okay so guys um please always factor in your miscellaneous and i think it says what will be around 200 pounds ish that should help that should help Help. Help. I know I've just been goofing around in this video and I apologize. I sincerely, honestly, seriously apologize, guys. Okay. Alright, guys, if you are getting value out of this video, if this video is entertaining you, if you're learning a thing or two, please smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already, help this channel grow. And write in the comment section what you actually learned from this video, if this is something that you're going to put into good use. I mean, do you think the prices are a little high well i think so but if if you think they're okay if you think um well just let me know what your thoughts are and maybe we can like find a consensus or something you know guys that is what the comment section is for i will be in there liking replying commenting like all of that good stuff i'm gonna be there waiting for you guys best believe me so yeah let us go into the bonuses shall we all right the first bonus is going to be how to cut costs and this will be on the line of accommodation okay on the line of accommodation you could choose to live with a friend you could choose to live with um, a family you could choose to share with someone else so in shared apartments it will always help you reduce how much you spend reduce how much you're spending or how much you will spend all right best believe me guys accommodation 
takes a huge chunk of money and you definitely definitely do need a place to sleep another way to cut costs will be to apply for online medical electives i know that in recent times these online medical elective programs have become very very um in our faces you know like very very out there and yes i don't entirely support them in the sense that you miss out on all the realness of the experience okay but it is what we have now in these times of covid and to be very honest with you guys we would take half bread over nothing okay so apply for online medical electives they definitely are way cheaper than actually going there in person guys you will get a certificate and what not not of attendance and if you're lucky or you're smart you would ask for a recommendation letter to go along with your certificate for a time in future guys believe me this is one of the things that i didn't do while i was on my own medical elective so okay, yeah I'm here to help you. You're welcome. Another tip will be to look for schools that are affiliated with your school. Look for universities, hospitals that are affiliated with your school. If you are in Ukraine, you're watching this because I create content. I'm a. <laughs> I've, I've lost the word, okay? But if you're in Ukraine and you're watching this, I am a Ukraine based content creator as of right now. And I do know that while I did my search, Guys, there are no schools affiliated with Ukrainian universities, okay? Maybe in future, maybe they're working on it and we don't know about it. Maybe it's not yet out there. We don't know. But guys, as of the time that I'm releasing this video, they are not affiliated schools. But the reason why I'm saying to look for affiliated schools are because I had friends come in to our medical elective postings from different places in the world, okay? I had people coming from Caribbean. I had people coming from Canada. Guys, I most of the unis on there most of the unis from these other parts of the world are kind of affiliated with some hospitals that you might be going to so my advice if your school or your uni is affiliated with a hospital by all means by all means like go for the hospital you will get perks of being an affiliate student and you get professional treatment as well and heck yeah everyone wants that no <laughs> yes everyone does <laughs> okay the last thing that i'm going to talk about and this is going to take some time so please give me your attention here is to apply for a medical elective scholarship and this is possible by using the electives network that i spoke about earlier there are a ton of other possible ways to actually apply for funding and yes as a student in ukraine most of the ways that we um available at the time I was searching couldn't take me you know because I was a medical student here in Ukraine so guys my advice at this point look for the ones that will take you because yes there are some that will take you but then I was running short of time and maybe it was like a competition you have to write an essay or you have to do a debate or something of that sort so guys they these things are actually available okay people are out there willing to sponsor you maybe not for the whole electives maybe cover your accommodation you could win a scholarship of maybe 700 pounds 500 pounds 1000 pounds it's actually something in the grand scheme of things and guys you should definitely look into this as well and if you would like to know more on the application process what the electives um, scholarship programs are looking like or what they're offering who is offering who's eligible where you can go all of that good stuff will be in the description box to kind of ease your search on the materials on the web and i'm very sure that using the resources that i've left in the description box you will actually be able to find a place that you can apply to i just sincerely hope that you're applying in time guys i hope this video was not too long or too tiring for you and i hope that this video actually genuinely helps you in your planning in your preparing in whatever that you're doing i hope that this helps you overall to be a better person and if you learn something from here that you can actually teach someone who wants to go for an elective program you know you're an og so guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time thank you so much for staying with me up till this point till later guys peace and lots of love